This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. So welcome back. In the previous segment, we talked about uh, basically using WCE or Mimicats to pull a Windows password right out of memory, see that plain text goodness, not having to use John or other tools to crack LM or LM hashes, which is really a lot of fun. Uh, however, it has a downfall, and that is it's easily picked up by antivirus. When I talk to uh, some pen testers, they you know kind of run through various iterations of uh, versions of it that have been uh, packed in different ways. So um, you know if that's going to work for you, that's great, uh, and and that's awesome too because this payload will run in like 15 seconds or less. So that's the way to go. However, it turns out we can actually do something very similar using. I love this a Microsoft tool. In fact, I'm actually borrowing a page out of our good friend Rob Fuller, Mubix's book from Room 362. Did an awesome article here on using um, a Microsoft tool to go ahead and get the clear text password using Mimikatz. And this is so great because it's actually using Procdump. Yes, that's right. I think we've actually talked about Procdump and some of the other sysinternals tools way back in 2006 before sysinternals, Mark, Mark something, I can't pronounce his last name, uh, joined Microsoft and they became Microsoft tools. But essentially, Procdump here, latest version 6.0, is going to allow you to dump the memory from any process. So uh, let's go ahead and walk through this because what I'm trying to explain here is that we're not using Mimikatz on our target machine. Nothing's going to show up on our SD card that's going to you know, bring up any red flags and we're going to be able to go home with, on our SD card, the equivalent of the plain text password in a text file. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll go to my E drive because that's my ducky drive and run proc dump lsas.exe Actually, we have to do attack A uh, except EULA. Attack MA is going to allow us to do a memory dump and in this case we're interested in lsass.exe and then we just um, give it where we want to save it to. I'm going to say c colon backslash temp or c colon backslash dev backslash um, lsass.dmp. All right, and so let's go back over to my dev drive and we'll see there's my dump. So we're going to move this um, to my Mimikatz folder in the alpha directory x64 because that's my machine. Uh, delete any previous dump file that I have there. Oops. And move that dump file here. Okay, so if I DIR, we'll see that I have Mimikatz as well as LSAS.dump. And then, just as Mubix shows us here, it's real simple. We can actually um, use the secure mini dump and then the dump file to actually pick up our uh, dump file right here in Mimikatz. So the concept is use your ducky to use a Microsoft tool to create a dump file on the disk then take that home with you, and then back at your hacker machine, plug it in, and then load that dump file into memory and have Mimikatz pull the, uh, extract the plain text password from it. So in that case, we run Mimikatz again, and we'll do a uh, secure LSA colon colon mini dump, and then the name of our file, which in this case is lsas.dmp. All right, we've switched to mini dump and then a secure LSA colon colon log on passwords full. Let's try that again. S E K U R L S A colon colon log on passwords full. And there we go. Just as before, I was able to get my lame password out of memory, except it wasn't live on the machine using Mimikatz. It was just my dump file. So let's put this all together. I'm going to exit out of this, and we'll create. Go to dev and my 
duck encoder. I'm using duck encoder version 2.6. This is the version of the community duck encoder and you can go ahead and get that over at Ducky Decode, that, uh, that Google project that I uh, mentioned earlier. And the nice thing about uh, this is we're actually able to um, we're actually able to encode for multiple different languages here. And since I still have, if I dir e colon backslash, I still have my ducky mounted as mass storage. So we're just going to go ahead and write that inject .bin right onto the SD card on the duck without having to use like a USB to micro adapter. Uh, so. This right here is very similar to the, uh, the previous payload that we looked at. We're again going to bypass UAC. We're going to define percent duck as the ducky volume. And then we're going to execute proc dump.exe with those parameters that I mentioned. We're going to save that process dump in uh, the duck drive as computer name underscore lsas.dmp. And then we're just going to exit. That's it. You know, once we've um, once we have that dump file, we can again, just as I just showed you, take that SD card over to our hacking machine, run that into uh, Mimikat, Mimikatz, and these are the commands as I just showed you to go ahead and extract that. So to get this onto our duck, let me go ahead and do. Let me go ahead and encode it straight on. If I if I dir e colon backslash star dot bin. You'll notice here I only have the vidpid.bin, so I need to put the inject.bin on here. Let's encode it directly from the duck encoder. So java tack jar encode.jar tack i. In fact, let me just do this so you can see. Uh, you know, tack i is for the input file, tack o is for the output file, tack l is for the language, and these are defined in this directory here in resources. So if I dir resources, You'll see we have, you know, these different properties files for these different keyboard layouts, and the difference here is because, like, you know, on so like some UK keyboards, uh, semicolon will be like a pound symbol or things of that nature, and so some of those things change based on language, and so this kind of takes care of that, which is awesome. Uh, it also, uh, if I run that again, you have some additional. Um, uh, keys that you can use, uh, for example, Alt Shift, and then any other key. So for like Alt Shift Enter, uh, you can use Repeat, which is really cool. So you can say if you wanted to um, have it press down a hundred times, your Ducky script may say down arrow, and then the next line would be Repeat 100. There you go. Uh, rather than just having a really long text file. I love that. This is the cool kind of stuff. Uh, this is why it's open source, and I'm stoked to be able to show you a prime example of, of using this here. So let's go ahead and get our encoding on. So Java, TACJAR, Duck Encoder, our input file is lsasdump.txt. That's the uh, payload that we just did. And TAC O will be e colon backslash inject.bin. Tack L for language US. <laughs> Oops. Tack I. There we go. All right, so that's all complete. And if we go to E colon, here they are. We can see there it is. So we have everything set up. Let's go ahead and do the demo. We'll open up my computer so you can see as I remove the ducky, the drive goes away. And now if I just plug this back in again, this is really beautiful because this is going to not throw flags on antivirus because we're just using a Microsoft tool. Uh, notice again, since I did change my vid and PID, it takes it a moment because it just uh, registered the device again and the drive now shows up. Here we go. It's ready to use and it'll start executing our ducky script. There it goes. Get our little UAC bypass on and head over to our ducky drive and accept the EULA and dumping LSAS over to the duck. We'll see. And so here's something interesting that you'll notice. It says writing 42 megabyte. Writing 42 megabytes. I think I mentioned at the top of this that it's actually a... Um, well, how big is it? It's uh, 150 kilobytes per second is the transfer speed. So if you do the math, this is actually going to take five minutes. That's the trade-off. It doesn't uh, flag antivirus, 
it does take five minutes. Now there's a whole lot of ways that we could make this take way less time if we use the network uh, or a couple other fun ways to, to get around that. Uh, first of all, um, if we wanted to, we could SFTP this or FTP it or email it or several other methods using the duck to get this file back to home base so that we can actually run it through our cracking tools. Um, so I just wanted to kind of like uh, point that out and I wanted to talk about going further with this because this is one of these where I'm really excited and, and interested in what kind of ways that you guys have thought of, of um, ways to kind of trim this down. I'm not necessarily sure exactly how much of the LSAS um, memory dump that Mimikatz is actually going to need. So if there's a way on Windows to kind of grep out the good bits, we could technically bring this home much quicker. Uh, the other obvious thing that we could do is using a second USB drive, just as we did in the uh, previous episode with um, you know, backing up large amounts of data. And this is why I like to use a larger drive, a larger secondary USB drive, uh, because you can take advantage of you know, fast write speeds of, like say, USB 3.0. Um, you know, th th there's that. So we could always use that method as well. Uh, there's one other method that I wanted to talk about, and I wanted to give props over to BoostFrack, because BoostFrack has written, and it's up here on his GitHub, a Ducky LSAS dump that goes ahead and uses the network. It sets in his uh, code here, it's a Ruby script, it sets up the listeners, it sets up everything you need. So if you've got a box back home waiting for this, you can just right over the network real fast. Uh, I love all of these op options. Uh, there's lots of really cool opportunity here to finesse this, so I'm excited to hear what you guys think about ways that we could make this payload even better. And regardless of if you have a dock, uh, this should be really, uh, hopefully, useful. Just in case you forget your Windows password, you need to recover it. Well, with that, I'm almost out, so um, I'm gonna head back to the studio, and we'll wrap this up. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they modify and build a host of amazing community-inspired creations. And be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show each week right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, Ben works on a quadricopter. So don't forget to go to element14.com slash tbhs and find out how you can enter to win the latest builds from Ben's show. just about wraps up this episode of Hack 5. Before we get going, I wanted to thank everybody uh, for supporting this awesome USB rubber ducky project. As you guys know, we released it a little over a year ago, and it has been so cool to see how far this community has grown. I've been having so much fun writing payloads, and through iterations of the generations of the hardware and economies of scale and all those things, we've actually been able to drop it for like way less than even half the price it used to be. Uh, if you were in the UK and you've seen the last couple episodes and you're like, oh my god, I want to, or in Europe, um, might want to take another look. We found a way where we could get shipping down to like six bucks, which is crazy. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of mention that. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun with that. We're going to continue having more fun with that because it's really a beautiful expression of, you know, physical access and uh, all the fun that you can have with it. Uh, so yeah, feedback at hack5.org. Let me know what your thoughts are on kind of minimizing that attack. I would love to see it get even faster, even smaller, um, and other kind of crazy exfiltration stuff I haven't even thought of yet. Uh, so anyway, with all of that, I just wanted to uh, say I'm Darren Kitchen, and for Shannon Morse, we're reminding you to trust your techno lust. I'm gonna get another pint. Whatever you you gotta do one of those, you know? Well, hey, is that a weird password? Yeah, it is. Oh, which card is that? I know, right? I need a beer.